Hello students, this is Professor Mohammad Shahid Ansari from Maharashtra College of Arts, Science and Commerce. Today's session will become very interesting because in this session we discuss about the user interface and the navigations in Android. The most important part of any Android application is your design. The graphical user interface is one of the very important part because it defines the layout and the interaction of the user with the application. The Android provides user interface controls and navigation so that the activities can interact with each other. The topics to be covered in this session are first is your introduction of user interface. Now second user interface components. These are the some of the controls or components that is available in Android for graphical user interface text view and edit view, edit text, button, toast, checkbox, radio button, radio button groups. These controls are the basic building blocks or basic UI components that are used for designing any Android application. The next part of this session is your navigation using intent. Intent is a class which is used for navigating the user from one activity to another activity. So these are the topic that are you that are covered in this session. Moving ahead, introduction of a UI controls. Android UI controls are those components of the Android that are used to design the UI in a more interactive way. In Android, there are UI controls, user interface controls that are used to provide the designing of the Android application in the more act interactive way. It helps us to develop an application that makes the user interaction better, the view component. All the UI components are the subclass of view class. All the controls are available in view for better interaction with the application by the user. Android provides us a huge range of UI controls. There are n number of controls available in Android. Many types such as button, text view, radio button, checkbox, these are the controls that are used for graphical user interface. The most uh, the first control is your text view control. Text view is a UI con component or control that displays the text to the user on their display screen. In Android, if you want to display any text, any string on the Android screen, at that time you have to use a text view. Text view is like a label each input is associated with a label so that user can enter a proper input. Suppose I want the user to enter the username. Then in that case we use a text view so that user will give a proper message enter your username. Whatever the text you want to display, whatever the information you want to display on the Android application, on the Android display screen, then we have to use text view. There are two ways to create a text view. First, using XML file, as we all know in Android, two files are very important. One is, is used for design and one is used for coding, code behind file. The design file is your XML file and .java file is your coding file. There are two ways to define the text view. Either you can define it using the XML file 
that is your main underscore activity dot XML, or you can design your text view using a coding file main activity dot Java. Now we will see how to write the code in XML file for text view. Since it is a XML file, therefore it has a XML code. See, there is a text view tag, XML tag. There is a text view tag which is used to define a text view in Android. The text view is associated with text view has an associated attributes which is used to define the properties for the text view. Suppose I want to give the ID to the text view, then ID uh, one of the property is your ID. Same, I want to set the text of the text view, there is a text property. Like that we have uh, many properties associated with the text view. And the li linear layout defines the, the layout designing of the text view. Now, in the same way, you can define the text view using a activity file that is your main activity dot java. In, in this case, we first define a layout. We first have to create a, an object of layout. This is the syntax to create the object of layout. That is your linear layout, the object name equals to find view by id method. This is the method which is used to find the view by its id. What is the id? R is a resource dot id is the name of the property and the name of the linear layout is your linear layout. So first it will find the linear layout within the main activity dot xml. Now second step is to create an object of text view. This is the standard syntax of creating any object text view is a class text view object name equals to new text view this what does it do? this means here this text view is in the current activity this refers to the current activity therefore we want this text view within the current activity therefore we pass as a this now we will set the now we will set the text for the text view there is a method of text view set text which is used to set the text on the text view I am setting the text as hello I am text view. This is my text of the text view. Final step is to add the view on the layout. Here we have created a layout object. Within this layout we will add the text view object by using a method called as add view. There is a method of linear layout dot add view and we pass the object of text view within the method. This method will add the text view on the layout. Now, this is the second method of the creating a text view. Remember all students, remember this, text view is UI component. There are two ways to create a text view. Text view does not perform any action when they are clicked. They are only used for display purpose. If you want to display a message on the Android application, use a text view. Now moving to the next second, second part of this topic is your properties of text view. As I already told you, each text view has a attributes. N number of attributes are there, which is used to set the property of the text view. First property, first attribute is your Android colon ID. The unique name is the unique name assigned for the control. In the coding, if you want to find the view by ID, at that time you have to pass this ID uh, to the method uh, view by ID. In the same way, second property with exact width of the text view, we can set the height of the text view. There is a text color prop, uh, attribute which is used to set the text color of the text view and android colon gravity it is it is to align the text view these are the sum of the properties of the text view that are uh, available in android now moving to the next control that is your edit text edit text is one of the ui control that is used to take the input from the user. Suppose I want to take the input 
enter the name now we will provide a space for the user to enter its his name in that case we use a edit text if you want to take any input username password address email id anything that you want to take the input from the user that can be done by using the edit text control now again there is a two ways first using an xml file the same syntax just replace the text view with the edit text and again there are attributes of the edit text there are property that are used for the set the properties of the edit text now second way using the activity file that is your main activity dot java same there is a same syntax only in this case we only use edit text class instead of using text view we are using edit text class and adding that edit uh, since uh, adding that edit text on the layout the text in the edit text is entered by the user therefore here we are not setting the set text we are just setting the hint hint indicates what what is the purpose of this edit text hello i am a edit text this is my hint now next is your button button is one of the very important ui controls because it is used to perform a graph graph or it is used to perform an action on the android application it is used to generate the event on the android application button is ui component which generates a click event when they are pressed there are two ways to create a button first is your xml file within xml file again we are using the right same xml tag that is your button and having its attribute now second way is your activity file linear layout first we will define the linear layout instead of creating a edit text object now we will create a button object and again this we will set the label on the button that is your text text method hello i am button and add we will add the button on the menu layout in this way the button is added on the android screen checkbox there are two there are two button uh, there are two buttons which has the property of toggling toggling property means they have a two stage checked unchecked selected unselected true false this type of property is called as toggling property it means that when we click on the toggle button the state of the toggle button will change from one uh, true to false or false to true vice versa so this property is provided by using a checkbox and radio buttons now we will see what is the difference between the checkbox and radio button both are used to provide a list of item for the users list of options for the user but in case of checkbox from the list of items the user can select a multiple options but in the case of radio button only one selection is allowed this is the main difference of checkbox and radio button like we want to provide a list of options like hobbies suppose there is a graphical user interface where we want the user to select their hobbies there may be probability that one user have multiple hobbies right another example of checkbox suppose you want to provide a list of option to the user language known there is a proba- there is a probability one user may have the knowledge of multiple languages in this case we have to use checkbox the example of the radio button is suppose you want to show the list of options gender now user will select 
the gender in this case only one option is allowed either the user is male or female there is no multiple option in that case so radio buttons are used to provide such a functionality this is the main difference of between the checkbox and radio button now there are again two ways to create this again here there is a uh, xml tag checkbox now within the checkbox there is a attribute called as checked android colon checked this attribute is used to set the state of the checkbox whether it is true or false if by default the state of the checkbox is false suppose you want to change it now just type after the equals to true that means when we we'll, when we will execute the application by default that checkbox is checked and second property is your text that defines the text on the or label on the checkbox now second method instead of creating a button object we will create a checkbox object cv name equals to new checkbox again this now set we are setting the text data plan next set checked there is a method set check we define the state again we are passing as true that means checkbox is checked and now we will final line always remember the final uh, uh, last line of the uh, coding is your we are adding all the components on the layout add view is a method which is responsible for adding the components on the layout this is a simple structure now as i already told you radio button is used to provide a list of option from which only one option is allowed again it has a property of toggling check uncheck it has a two state check state uncheck state all the properties are same as checkbox the only difference is that in radio button only one selection is allowed now again xml file there are two ways xml file and activity file in xml file radio button is a tag xml tag again text radio button and checked property i am setting to true so that the check radio button will uh, have a selected again second activity file within that again we will define the the object of radio button then set text set check again same uh, as uh, check box and we are adding the radio button on the layer now by default always remember by default radio buttons are behave like a check box that means when you drag and drop the radio button on the android activity in that time all the radio buttons uh, all the radio buttons are selected like check box to allow a single selection within the list of radio buttons there is a one more control called as radio group radio group is one of the control that allow the that allow to select only one option from the radio button if you are not using a radio button a radio group in that case radio buttons are behave like a check box again this has a two two ways to create a radio group just drag and drop the radio group or write this xml code on radio group there is a property of radio group orientation which define the vertical and horizontal view of the radio button then again these are the three radio buttons from which i want to select only one option that means within this radio group whatever the radio buttons are there from which only one radio button is selected at a time second way same way uh, i am defining the object of radio button rdb1 rdb2 rdb3 on create method again set the content view then define the radio button objects rdb1 rdb2 and rdb3 in this way you can create a radio button from which only one selection is allowed next android toast very important most of the android activities uh, are uses uh, are used to display a toast messages so that it provide a small information to the user what is going on suppose 
we are defining a login page user will type a username and password whether the username is right or wrong wrong we will display a toast message so that user can user is uh, is uh, able to know uh, the username and password is correct or not android toast can be used to display information for the short period of time that means toast message will appear for a some period of time and after that period of time it will disappear it contain that a toast contain message to be display quickly and disappears after a some time okay. the toast message the toast class is nothing but android dot widget dot toast this is a uh, ui path for accessing the toast class it is a sub class of java dot lag object class all the all the ui components are inherited from the object class you can also create a custom toast as well as for example toast displaying an image it is also possible you can display a small icon or a small image along with the text it is also possible in the toast message that is your custom toast you can visit next page to see the code for custom toast now there are only two constants of toast class which are given below first length long this this is constant value this is not a this is not a method it is some constant value are given for the toast message length long length short display view for a long duration of time if you are setting the toast attributes to toast constant to length underscore long that way it display a long period of time a toast message and if you are displaying a short it display a view for a short duration of time there are n number of methods in the toast these are the methods that are available in toast message first public static toast make text this method makes the toast containing a text and the duration it has a two parameters first is your context and second is your duration within this duration we either write length long length short now public void show again show method display the toast message public void set margin changes the horizontal and vertical margin for display the toast message then toast example toast dot make text this is a method get application context that means it will not disappear the current application current activity toast message will appear within that activity now this is your text hello java point and duration whether it is long or short and dot show if you are specifying dot show then only it will display the toast message on the current activity now second toast we uh, we will create a object of toast toast equals to make text again the same thing now with the help of this object we can set the property of this uh, toast that is your set margin this is my horizontal and vertical margin and now we will show there are two ways either you can use a toast message like this or define the toast message define the object of the toast set the margin and then click on show then call the show method the most important part of this session is your navigation using intent intent that is one of the very important class available in android which is used to redirect the user from one activity to another activity when you pass when you want to pass the message from one activity to another activity in that case you will use a intent class such activity is defined using an intent class it is generally used with the set activity start activity method to the to invoke activity broadcast receiver etc android intents are mainly used to launch an activity display a web page display a list of contacts broadcast a message dial a phone call etc with the help of this intent class we can do the 
following activities following service always remember student the intent class is used with start activity now this start activity can start launch an activity display a web page display these are the functions that is done by this start activity size of android intent aka implicit and second one is a explicit implicit intent does not specify the component in such case intent provides the information of, of available components provided by the system that is to be invoked for example you may write the following code to view the web page see this is an example intent now first we'll create the object of the intent intent and dot action view what does it mean within the current activity we are opening a web browser which opens the http colon slash slash www dot java point dot com this is the url that will opened by the intent class in the current activity now explicit it is used to pass the message from one activity to another explicitly we have to specify the activity name in in this case there is no second activity only within the activity we are opening some url we are opening some browsers this is possible but in that case it will implicit in the intent now explicit intent specify the component in such case intent provides the external class to be invoked it is possible with explicit intent now see intent i equals to name intent get application context activity to this is the reference of the second activity when we will start we will call the start activity at that time activity to dot class that means second activity will be activity will be invoked now start activity as get application context it is used to return the context which is linked to the application which holds all the activity of uh, activities running inside it get application context is responsible for storing all the activities within it now the user specify the name of the second activity it will call the second activity thank you so much i hope you all understand this session thank you